Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is JavaScript Top 100 Coding Interview Questions and Answer Series. This is episode number 27 and in today's episode the question is how can we insert an element at a specific index in a given array? So this can be asked in multiple ways. They might give you an array and say why don't you insert this value at this position. Right? So first of all you should know that in arrays, the index always starts with value 0. So for example, if they ask you to insert at position number 3, that means L position is 3, but the index would be 2. Okay, so I'll show you all this when we start the coding, but let's get started. Before we get started with hands-on, I'll request you to please get this book. This will really help you become a better developer and will help you crack any front-end developer interview. The JavaScript coding snippet book it has all the questions that I'm covering here with answers so you can have it for your reference. You can find the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. If you have any issues, please write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. All right, back to the question. How can we insert an element at a specific index in an array? So I covered that the spread operator in last episode as well. And I want to insist that it's one of the most powerful, I would say, um, <clears throat> functionality that's uh, introduced in ES6, which can do a lot of things and magically can um, reduce the lines of number of lines of code that you have to write. So in this case also, we will use spread operator. And then along with that, we will also need to use array slice method. And those are the two things basically we will need to complete this particular task. So let's get started with the coding part. All right, so let's get started. First, I'm going to throw in a quick array. All right, so I'm going to create an array and just um, call it anything that you would like. Um, invoice, okay. Any any variable, you can call it anything and let's assign some values, ra any random values that you want. <coughs> All right. So we have got our array. Like I said, <coughs> index position, index always starts with zero in arrays, right? So if the interviewer asks you to insert after 54, so start counting from here, zero, one, two, that means your next index is three. That's where you want to insert, right? So what you can do is, uh, what is the element number? So take think of it like this. Element number would be one, two, three, right? So three and let's say where you want to insert it, right? Um, say insert at equal to two, right? Always element will be one high and index will be z one less. That means because it starts with zero, like I said, you guys know that basics, but yeah. <coughs> All right, so what are we going to do? We are going to use the spread operator and create a new array with the new value inserted. So this is the new value that we want to insert at position number two, zero, one, two. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, so I will be using a rest operator here and what is it what will it do is first we will slice invoice numbers dot slice. Okay, and what am I going to slice? I'm going to say zero comma I'm say I'll say insert at value. Okay, that means slice from zero to zero to two, right? And then what you do is append what will you append here? The first the element that you want, which is in our case, the element, right? And then what we are going to do? The remaining pieces of the array, which is invoices numbers dot slice. And I'm just going to pass only one value here, which is insert at. Okay, so I think that should solve the problem. And so basically first we are taking the values from zero to this and then we are inserting the element and then we are adding slice that means re add the remaining ones so that should give us a new array with element added let's see if that logic is working all right so that's it is let's see okay so we got 12 45 3 the new element that got added and the remaining values right 
So that's pretty much, I think the logic is working. Basically what you do is you split the array into two pieces, okay, using slice. First, you get the values that are there in the front, that is which position you want it inserted, and then insert the element, and then finally insert everything else fr starting from that position, which is number two. That's pretty much that how you can insert an element at any given index that you would want. All right. I hope the logic is clear. I hope you would be able to write uh, this logic on your own as well, but do reference the code that I have written if you want any help. All right, pretty cool. If you have any doubts on this, please write to me, reach out to me in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to help you. Don't forget to check out the ebook, which is JavaScript coding questions and answers at arctutorials.gumroad.com. Alternatively, please write to me at surya.aradhya at gmail.com. Thank you so much for joining. See you in the next episode.